My name is Odi Lagi. I'm the program director of the Network of University Legal Aid Institutions, Nigeria. It's a future where uh, somebody can stand who is nobody, but can stand and be assured that they have equal protection under the law. And also where the person beside this somebody understands that uh, they need to protect and stand up for the next person. When you have a strong institution, that helps. When you also have an empowered society that stands up and says, I will seek for the protection of human rights, that also is the future we are looking at. I would say um, it was uh, when I was seven years. My mother was a teacher then, but heading the teachers' union in Nigeria. She stood up for uh, non-interference of political sphere into the union. She was targeted for assassination. It was a very dramatic event. Uh, she was followed to the house and shot at. My dad was shot at. And following that, we had to make a, a run. We left the city and we went to the village. But I remember that that did not sway her. At the village, she mobilized the women, set, set up women association, stopped uh, police intimidation of women, and continued to participate in public life. I didn't know it then, but it shaped who I am today. And I've been on that trajectory for a long time. I won't say I've been primarily targeted. Uh, I learned early that uh, as a human rights defender, you have to be cautious. You have to weigh the risk that you face in the work, and you have to learn to balance what you do to be effective to benefit others. It is important that they stand up to the principles, the universal human rights principles that uh, we need, we daily need at this moment, not just in Africa, but globally. We need to, they need to stand up. They need to not just uh, uh, issue statements or be diplomatic about it, but they need to take a strong stand to promote protection of human rights in Africa, promotion of human rights in Nigeria. Because if not, the world is moving to a trend where we have more conflicts, where we have more unrest. We, we need a strong stance, especially for the women's rights. The population and percentage of women and our participation in political life, public life, peace and conflict resolution is diminishing, not increasing. And if we don't stand for that, things will only get worse in the world and it affects everybody. So on that regard, I will also say that the CSOs, especially within the African region, we have noticed that we stand alone, country by country. We have not learned how to come together. There are, there are multiple coalitions, I won't deny that. But I'll give you an example. When there was a Black Lives Matter protest, everybody across Europe, even Africa, went to the street. But in Nigeria, when there was NSAS protests and they were shot, nobody in Africa came out. Um, what is happening in Ethiopia is happening. Nobody else is coming. The CSOs are not. We're not standing together. If we work together to make sure that issues are more visible that happen in Africa, CSOs, I think we'll be achieving more. <laughs> 